Afghanistan live. Resistance forces recapture three districts in Baglan from Taliban. This post received a score of 42,000, with an upvote ratio of 94%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. So is this the Northern Alliance plus Afghan National Forces? Hashtag let's fucking go. I hope they take the country back. I mean I'm no expert, but I doubt it. I think the best we can hope for is partial control and balkanization of the country for the foreseeable future. Here's the thing. There have been a crazy number of protests going on virtually all across the country where people are openly brandishing the flag of the Afghan Republic. It really seems like for the first time, an Afghan national identity has been created. This could be huge. The Taliban itself is not very stable. Different people have different views within their group. For example, some want to grow those opiate plants for profit and some don't well because you know, religion. They rely on making profits from illegal activities like growing opioid plants so I don't see them not doing it solely on religious reasons. What else are they going to do to raise funds? Bake sales, fundraisers, only fans, and talent shows? To be fair I don't think anyone is going to be able to make money on OnlyFans anymore. The Taliban Cooking Show Hey, Mr. Taliban. Taylai me banana. Why do these articles never include maps? Driving me crazy having to hunt for these directs on Google Maps to try and figure out what's going on. Livewa Maps is the best. It's fairly reliable as far as is possible in these situations, and explains its sources. Yeah, that site started as a labor of love by two Ukrainians. It's important to know who's behind it and their point of view, potential bias. Tracking the Russian annexation of Crimea. But it's grown into a great resource for a lot of different conflicts. It's funny to me how they've branded it as a universal awareness map when it's obvious the UA stands for Ukraine. Happy to see a Ukrainian website grow in popularity and get international use though. Slava. Go on lads. Give em hell. Here here. The irony of that region being impossible to rule is that the Taliban probably won't be able to either. It's their turn to deal with insurgency after insurgency, public unrest, and deep unpopularity. Apparently the current Taliban is just a bunch of divided tribes that are only working together to get the US out. I'm sure they'll be back to killing each other soon enough. Holding that would be a symbolic sign of their power. They possibly already hold the crucial, which would cut Taliban supplies from Kabul to the north. I think these forces can continue expanding territory in the north for the next few months. Ideally, they still need international support, e.g. ammo. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.